Thomas Bowdler, LRCP, FRS, July 11, 1754, February 24, 1825, was an English physician and philanthropist, best known for publishing The Family Shakespeare, an expurgated edition of William Shakespeare's work, edited by his sister Henrietta Maria Bowdler intended to be more appropriate for 19th century women and children than the original. Although early editions of the work were published with the spelling Shakespeare, after Bowdler's death, later editions, from 1847, adopted the spelling Shakespeare, reflecting changes in the standard spelling of Shakespeare's name. The verb Bowdlerize, or Bowdlerize, has associated his name with the censorship not only of literature but also of motion pictures and television programs. After several other publications, some reflecting his interest in and knowledge of continental Europe, Bowdler's last work was an expurgated version of Edward Gibbon's Decline and Fall of the Roman Empire, published posthumously in 1826 under the supervision of his nephew and biographer, Thomas Bowdler the Younger. Biography Thomas Bowdler was born at Box, near Bath, Somerset, the youngest son of the six children of Thomas Bowdler, c. 1719-1785, a banker of substantial fortune, four, and his wife. Elizabeth, Nay Cotton, D. 1797, the daughter of Sir John Cotton of Conington, Huntingdonshire. Badler studied medicine at the Universities of St. Andrews and Edinburgh, where he took his degree in 1776, graduating with a thesis on intermittent fevers. He spent the next four years in traveling in continental Europe, visiting Germany, Hungary. Italy, Sicily and Portugal. In 1781 he caught a fever in Lisbon from a young friend whom he was attending through a fatal illness. He returned to England in broken health, and with a strong aversion to his profession. In 1781 he was elected a Fellow of the Royal Society, FRS, and a Licentiate of the Royal College of Physicians, LRCP but he did not continue to practice medicine. He devoted himself instead to the cause of prison reform. Bowdler was a strong chess player and once played eight recorded games against the best chess player of the time, François André Danik and Flitter, who was so confident of his superiority that he played with handicaps. Bowdler won twice, lost three times, and drew three times. Bowdler's first published work was letters written in Holland in the months of September and October, 1787-1788, which gave his eyewitness account of the Patriots' uprising. In 1800 Bowdler took a lease on a country estate at St. Boniface, on the Isle of Wight, where he lived for ten years. In September 1806, when he was 52, he married Elizabeth Frivenen or Trevenen, the widow of a naval officer. The marriage was unhappy, and after a few years Bowdler and his wife lived apart. They had no children. After the separation, the marriage was never referred to by the Bowdler family, and in the biography of Bowdler by his nephew, Thomas Bowdler, there is no mention of Bowdler's ever marrying. In 1807 the first edition of the Bowdler's The Family Shakespeare was published, in four small volumes. From 1811 until his death in 1825, Bowdler lived at Writings House, overlooking Swansea Bay, from where he traveled extensively in Britain and continental Europe. In 1815 he published Observations on Immigration to France, with an account of health economy, and the education of children, a cautionary work propounding his view that English invalids should avoid French spas and go instead to Malta. In 1818 Bowdler published an enlarged edition of the family Shakespeare, which had considerable success. 
By 1827 the work had gone into its fifth edition. In his last years, Bowdler prepared an expurgated version of the works of the historian Edward Gibbon, which was published posthumously in 1826. His sister Jane Bowdler, 1743-1784, was a poet and essayist, and another sister Henrietta Maria Bowdler, Harriet 1750-1830, collaborated with Bowdler on his expurgated Shakespeare. Bowdler died in Swansea at the age of 70 and was buried there, at Oystermouth. He bequeathed donations to the poor of Swansea and Box. His large library, consisting of unexpurgated volumes collected by his ancestors Thomas Bowdler, 1638-1700, and Thomas Bowdler, 1661-1738 was donated to the University of Wales, Lampeter. In 1825 Bowdler's nephew, also called Thomas Bowdler, published his memoir of the late John Bowdler, Esquire, to which is added, some account of the late Thomas Bowdler, Esquire editor of the family Shakespeare. The family Shakespeare. In Bowdler's childhood, his father had entertained his family with readings from Shakespeare. Later, Bowdler realized that his father had been omitting or altering passages he felt unsuitable for the ears of his wife and children. Bowdler felt it would be worthwhile to publish an edition which might be used in a family whose father was not a sufficiently circumspect and judicious reader to accomplish this expurgation himself. In 1807 the first edition of the Bowdler's The Family Shakespeare was published, in four duodecimo volumes, containing 24 of the plays. In 1818 the second edition was published. Each play is preceded by an introduction where Bowdler summarizes and justifies his changes to the text. According to his nephew's memoir, the first edition was prepared by Bowdler's sister, Harriet, but both were published under Thomas Bowdler's name, probably because a woman could not then publicly admit that she understood Shakespeare's racy passages. By 1850 eleven editions had been printed. The spelling Shakespeare, used by Bowdler, and also by his nephew Thomas in his memoir of the older man, was changed in later editions in the mid-19th century to Shakespeare. The Bowdlers were not the first to undertake such a project, but, despite being considered a negative example by some, their editions made it more acceptable to teach Shakespeare to wider and younger audiences. The poet Algernon Charles Swinburne said, More nauseous and foolish cant was never chattered than that which would deride the memory or depreciate the merits of Bowdler. No man ever did better service to Shakespeare than the man who made it possible to put him into the hands of intelligent and imaginative children. Bowdler's commitment not to augment Shakespeare's text was in contrast with the practice of some earlier editors and performers. Nan Tate as poet laureate had rewritten the tragedy of King Lear with a happy ending. In 1807 Charles Lamb and Mary Lamb published Tales from Shakespeare for Children with synopses of 20 of the plays, seldom quoting the original text. Changes Some examples of alterations made by Bowdler's edition In Hamlet, the death of Ophelia was referred to as an accidental drowning, omitting the suggestions that she may have intended suicide. In Macbeth. Lady Macbeth's famous cry out, damn spot, was changed to out, crimson spot. God, as an exclamation is replaced with heavens. In Henry IV, Part II, the prostitute Daltersheet is omitted entirely, the slightly more reputable mistress quickly is retained.